Hey guys, Seth from Goldstein Media here. I want to talk a little bit about Google+. Plus. Um, it's the new social network put out by Google, the search giant, and the best known for its search engine. It's been dominating the search engine world for quite a while now. Um, Google Plus is at plus.google.com. It's currently in closed beta, but um, some invites have been trickling out. Uh, not as fast as some people would have liked, but they are trickling out. Um, Google Plus um, came about, I think it was a little... Uh, and I think it was around Thursday of last week. Um, Google announced it and it came out, and people were as a land grab to kind of get on the service. Um, what it is is a kind of a mix between Facebook, Friend Feed, and Twitter. Um, there's a very active core base of users. Most of them are very tech centric people that you know have high. Um, quotas of uh, pe you know influence on in the social media sphere of course some people that I know who have very good influence in the social sphere aren't on Google Plus and have not been able to get into Google Plus and then, then on the flip side there have been people who I don't really know to be very influential have gotten into Google Plus I think it's really a crapshoot but it's neat to see how Google is really doing a good job on this versus how they did with Buzz uh, Buzz is not dead. Buzz is in your profile still, and you can still, you know, post stuff in there from Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and all those other services. But generally, this new stream, uh, and the really the revolutionary thing that you can do with Google Plus now is put people in, instead of lists, put people in, in um, circles. Um, these circles can be, you know, only you see these circles, so people can see that they've been, they're put in a circle by you, but they're not, you can't see that, um, what circle, what the name of the circle that you're in is. Um, so I have friends, family, um, plusers, which is, is the plus sign, ERS, um, A2SM, which is my, is A2SM, is the social media podcast I'm part of. Um, a bunch of other net, um, circles I have in here that I keep people organized in. Uh, it's a very tech centric crowd in here right now. Um, the, the feeds update in real time. Um, they do have an Android app right now and they do have a web, um, a mobile a mobile web app that will enable people who don't have don't have the basic um, Android phone to be able to access the site as well via their phones. Um, they do say an Android app, a Apple app is on its way. Um, they have a few other features. They have something called a Hangout, which is a up to a ten person multi thread chat room, which is really neat. I mean, I've been able to talk to some really interesting people in Silicon Valley through this. It is also very much a tech centric crowd, like I said, I'm going to keep on saying, because it's a, it's very much in my sphere of influence. There's something called Sparks, which is a, it's kind of almost a news aggregator, so you can um, find stuff that you're interested in on, in the news. It's, so, I really see this as a way for Google to kind of combine everything that they're known for into one thing. Um, Mashable today um, said that the, Google's um, rebranding um, Blogger and Picasa as Google Photos and Google Blogs, or Google, yeah, Google Blogs. So that'll be interesting to see how they feed everything into Plus. Um, there are definitely some things I think that Plus should get. Um, as I'm talking, I'm looking at the site right now. It should enable, I mean, in some ways, it should enable you to feed some stuff in or at least feed stuff out to your blog because a lot of times it, you're not limited to 140 characters, so you're able to actually write long-form content. So you should be able to actually output that to your WordPress site if possible. Um, on the website, you know, it's nice that they have Huddle, which is a group messaging app, which, are, which is, you know, they've been working on Google Plus for a while now. And we've, we've been seeing pieces of Google Plus come out over the course of the last year, year and a half. Um, Disco, which was a um, text messaging, group messaging app, that's now Huddle. Google Profiles is now your profile in um, Google Plus. Buzz is now one of the streams you can see in here. Um, and I think, I really do think they're going to move um, Google News into here as well. And it's going to be all encompassing. Will it beat Facebook? Not so sure. I don't think that everyone's going to be on Google Plus right at, at the get go. They might, the Google Plus is very good with the data portability. They have a um, Google Takeout, which I kind of like the name, because taking out, taking out food out of a restaurant, you can take all your f all your food, all your um, social media food out of Google Plus and put it wherever you want. So it, it is very data portable because that helps Google to make it accessible. Privacy controls are very good. 
Um, they're working on some stuff that's really nice in closed beta, but it's working really well. So um, check out Google Plus. It's at plus.google.com. Request an invite. Ask around on Twitter and Facebook and find out if you can get in. Um, they are looking to probably release this in the next week or two to a larger amount of people. Keep in mind it is beta, and um, there's a very important note on the front page, and an important note about the field trial. You're a part of a small group of people who are helping test, test, test Google+. Plus. I emphasize test. Still pretty buggy, but it's smooth but buggy. Um, when you share something with people who are not yet able to use Google+, Plus, they will receive it via email but won't be able to comment or engage with the content like Google Plus users. They'll be able to join Google Plus as we let more, more, let in more users over time. So they are slowly trickling people in. I know my colleague Neil Weiser has not been able to get in, but my other colleague Joey Rent has. Uh, we're still trying to figure out why Neil hasn't been able to be let in. Um, but definitely check it out. It's at plus.google.com. Um, this week in Google over at um, twit.tv, twit.tv slash twig, T-W-I-G. Um, the, this past uh, Wednesday, they had a great whole show on Google+. Plus. Um, so check that out. It's the Laporte's network. Anyhow, guys, have a great, great um, rest of the week. Hope you all had a great 4th of July if you're in the United States. And um, I'll be back online on Google+, Plus and on Twitter. Um, you can find me on Google+, Plus by searching Seth Goldstein. I'm the younger one. I'm not the one that did um, turntable.fm. You can find me um, everywhere else I am at by going to sethgoldson.me. That's my Google Plus profile page, which is viewable to the public. Find me on Twitter at Seth Goldstein on Twitter. That's S E T H G O L D S T E I N. Check out goldsteinmedia.com. That's my business website, sethgoldstein.net, which is my personal website slash blog and A2SM which is the social media podcast and blog we uh, publish our podcast every Friday at 12 noon so make sure you check that out at A the number 2SM dot com take care guys have a great day